So I got a present the other day. It's this, it's a LED toilet lighting. I got it from an uncle of mine and he said, well, you're into electronics, maybe you will like this. Or maybe it's because I usually make a mess uh, of his toilet. Anyway, it has eight different colors. It uses three AAA batteries. It says the dimensions. Uh, by the way, this is in Dutch, so congratulations if you can read this. I don't think I have to translate all of it because it's kind of clear from the picture what this is. There's a sensor reach of three to four meters, a sensor angle of 120 degrees, and it lights up your toilet for two minutes, and it automatically turns off when there's no motion detected. And that's basically it. Let's open it up. That's that. Comes with a manual. And it's actually four steps. But I think I'll manage without this. It takes three AAA batteries. Now I have those over here. And let's put them in. Let's see, that way around. And that way around. And that one the other way around. Close the lid back up. Which is easier said than done. How? Oh, there we go. And of course, it now doesn't do anything because it has to be dark for it to work. So I'm gonna turn it upside down and see if it does anything. Oh, there we go. Is that too bright? And it's now slowly changing colors and by pressing the button on oh went off how do we do that and by pressing the button on the back should but should be able to do something by pressing the button on the back but it doesn't seem to do anything just starts fading colors you know what i'm gonna find a toilet and i'm gonna hang this in there now the only bathroom i could find was this one which isn't exactly for me but it's the only one that doesn't have a light that automatically turns on but the toilet itself does uh, there's no one on there no empty so what instead I did is I've mounted it on the sink, uh, which basically gives the same effect, but it's much easier to film that way. So let me close the door. And as you can see, it turns on. And it starts fading colors. Now if I press the button, it holds the color it is at at that moment. If I press it again, it will continue fading between colors. Now I'm not going to hang around for long because if someone now walks into this bathroom, I'm going to get some questions. Now, of course, just like me, you're dying to know what's inside of this. So let's open it up and see what's inside. I have this massively long screwdriver, but it will work. Actually, it doesn't really work because now I'm in the way of the camera. Maybe I also should take the batteries out. Or, no, I don't have to. Oops. Something fell out. 
Oh, that was the button. So there's a PCB, the battery connections, which, does this come off? Oh, this is just held down by one of these pegs. And on the back, two chips actually. Could have cleaned it up a bit. Or maybe, also kind of smells funny. Maybe this is already being used. I'm gonna see if I can get this into focus so we can see what chips on there. No, no markings. That's too bad. Now I can't see any markings on the chips, but what is interesting is that there are four wires going to the LED. Now, I would have thought they would have used one of these LEDs, um, one of these automatically color changing LEDs. But then again, that wouldn't work because if you want to hold a particular color um, by pressing the button, you need some way of processing that. So this, I think, uh, so well, this is connected through resistors to each of these wires. So this is maybe some kind of microcontroller. Maybe it's an 80 tiny. No, I don't think they would have used an 80 tiny for this. Although it's it's possible. Um, but let's have a look at the LED, see if I can get that out. I don't want to stab myself while getting this out. Because this end of course is hanging inside the toilet. I'm kind of hoping this is properly sealed so dirt and moisture won't get in. But we'll see. This is very tough to get out. I actually don't mind if I destroy this because I'm never going to use this. That is properly sealed. So there's the LED. There's four leads coming out and I think if I kind of reverse engineer this you would think this wire is ground and there's three VCCs so that means it's a common cathode LED But I'm not sure, they, they could have used just any colors of wire. On closer inspection, um, this is one of the positive sides of the three batteries. That goes through a zero ohm resistor to this pin. And this pin routes through a resistor. And then underneath the zero ohm resistor underneath the board and this one goes through a resistor and this one also goes through a resistor so I'm actually thinking now it's it's a common anode LED but there's one way to find out and that is just removing the LED and put some voltage on it now I'm thinking I'm going to put this in a breadboard to make it a bit easier to poke around. That should do it. Now as per the PCB, if we just ignore the colors for now and just look at the traces on the board, these three all go to a pin on the chip. This one also does, but I believe that is the anode, so the positive voltage for the chip. So I'm gonna put my power supply on. I've set my power supply to three volts and a current limit of 10 milliamps. So we should be safe. The third pin should be positive 
and by connecting ground to either of the three other leads we should see something light up but it doesn't maybe the pins are not in that's the oh well. guess the pin wasn't in so this is blue that's green and that's red now these two pins are what's that stuck to my screwdriver these two pins are both routed to this chip so that one's probably taking care of the motion sensing and this chip is there to control the LED two chips to control something as simple as an LED oh it's not on there anymore of course to control something as simple as an LED actually three LEDs so yeah I'm not going to use this for in any toilet but I'm going to save this board and maybe find a use for it still curious to know what these chips are um, if you have any idea leave a, a comment in the comment section below and maybe in a future video we'll take another look thanks for watching see you next time bye bye